our technology becomes more advanced every day. 20 years ago, the idea of being able to watch this video through a wireless internet connection, perhaps even using your phone to do so, was unthinkable. And yet here you are right now. Nobody knows what kind of amazing inventions and advances we might see in the next 20 years, but we have some strong hints from the projects and experimental designs that are happening right now. We've put some of the very best of them together, here in this video. Privacy campaigners around the world are already worried about facial recognition technology. Cameras are already sophisticated enough to identify any of us when we're walking down the street, and we can no longer be sure that we truly have any privacy anywhere. The kind of facial recognition technology being trialed in China can do more than just identify you. It can decide whether you're trustworthy, and even whether you're healthy or not. Ping An, China's largest insurance company, is currently experimenting with camera technology that picks up on micro-expressions and determines whether or not a potential customer is lying. It also assesses their body mass index. By using the tech, they hope to be able to decide who to insure, who not to insure, and who might be trying to make a fraudulent claim. Is this a responsible use for artificial intelligence, or is it just a way to ensure that the type of person who might need insurance the most isn't able to get it? The Chinese camera technology might be able to decide whether you're lying or not by reading your facial expressions, but it can't actually read your mind. Allegedly, this next piece of tech can. Russian robotics company Neurobotics Lab claims to have developed a piece of artificial intelligence that can guess what type of video someone is watching purely by analyzing their brain waves. They have to be hooked up to a machine in order for the AI to work, but it's still an amazing achievement if it's true. Not only can it deduce the content of the videos that test subjects watch, but it can also roughly reproduce a series of images similar to those seen on the screen. The idea of a machine intruding on your thoughts is a little uncomfortable, but Neurobiotics Lab hopes that it will find a use in the field of medicine. They envision their tech being used to assist stroke patients or people who have suffered brain injuries with the difficult task of regaining cognitive functions or even sending commands from their brain to other parts of their bodies using an EEG interface. Another exciting advance in neural technology comes from Control Labs, whose CEO, Thomas Reardon, says that neural interfaces will be available within five years. When they are, he hopes that they'll give humans the long-desired power of psychokinesis, the ability to move objects using only our minds. Their prototype device is a wristband that reads musculoneural signals and translates them into commands that can be interpreted by a machine. One possible application would be the removal of keyboards and mice from computers. You wouldn't even need a touchscreen or voice interface. All you would need to do is think about a word and the computer would type it. Think about opening an app and it would be opened. Thomas hopes that this company will one day come up with a method of inputting text that's faster than the quickest typist in the world, and perhaps even faster than speech. That's because it takes time for a thought to get from your brain to your mouth and then more time for your mouth to speak that thought out loud. With the Control Labs interface, it will go straight from your brain to your screen. All of us have probably been guilty of watching dramatic TV talk shows like Jerry Springer in the past. Often, the climax of those shows is a DNA test to reveal whether somebody is or isn't the father of a child or related to another person. Fortunately, we no longer have to use those shows to find out the secrets of our DNA. We can find out ourselves in the privacy of our own homes, because home DNA testing kits are now a reality. Various home testing kits have appeared on the market in the past couple of years, and they can do more for you than just confirming or rejecting your family's heritage. They can identify how likely you are to be prone to a specific illness or disease and even give you hints of what kind of diet would be best suit for your particular genetic makeup. A little chillingly, some of the kits even tell you what the genetic makeup of your children is likely to look like, and whether or not you'd pass any risks onto them from you. DNA can't tell you everything, but it can tell you a lot, possibly even more than you'd like to know. 
Legend has it that Walt Disney was cyrogenically frozen after his death, with his company given instructions to wake him up in the future when technology had advanced to the point where death is more of a minor inconvenience than an absolute end. The story almost certainly isn't true, but we do know of at least one person who's been cyrogenically frozen for the same reason. Chinese woman Zhan Wenlian passed away due to lung cancer in 2017, age 49 and her grieving husband had her frozen in the hopes that she could one day live again. Apparently, Zan wanted to donate her body to science. We guess the science of cryonics meets that description. Zan is currently encased in 2,000 liters of liquid nitrogen at the Hilu Hospital of Shandong University and is likely to stay that way for a very long time. The team of doctors and scientists acknowledge that it isn't currently possible to revive Dan Wenlian, but the belief that one day in the future it will be. And she may be the first person to come back to life using this method. You might have heard about the next example of future technology in the media within the past 12 months, and not in a positive way. Deep fakes are videos that can take a video and allow someone else's face to be placed into that video convincingly and seamlessly. Using this method, a deep fakes expert can make it appear that you've done something that you haven't really done or said something that you haven't really said. And it's becoming increasingly difficult to distinguish a deep fake from a genuine recording. The technology works by mechanically learning the way people look, move, talk, and use the muscles of their face, and then using that knowledge to overlay the face of a subject onto a pre-existing video. This is obviously dangerous when it comes to world leaders and politicians, as they can be made to appear to support causes they never supported, or express views that aren't there. We can no longer trust the evidence of our eyes and ears. Welcome to the post-truth era. Why the meal replacement company Soylent chose their name, we'll never know. Famously, Soylent Green is the codename for meals made of human flesh, which are served to the unsuspecting public in the movie of the same name. Thankfully, the Silicon Valley-based company isn't offering the same product, but it is offering something quite remarkable. In basic terms, Soylent is a liquid meal in a can. In only 400 calories, it provides up to a quarter of your daily required nutrients, mostly made up of soy protein, carbohydrates from beets, and sunflower oil. Their target audience is apparently people who are too busy to stop working long enough to eat a proper meal. Until 2017, the product was only available through the company's e-store, but a subsequent partnership with 7-Eleven has seen it rolled out around the United States of America. It even comes in three different flavors, original, nectar, and cacao. Some health fanatics swear by it, but the Canadian Food Inspection Agency isn't convinced that it should be advertised as a meal replacement, and so has banned the sales of the product within the country. Everything you need to know about body armor is contained within its name. It's a form of protection that prevents the vulnerable parts of your body from being damaged by knives or bullets. Traditionally, it comes in a thick, heavy, solid form and is generally made of Kevlar. But that might be about to change. Incredibly, some scientists are claiming that they have come up with something that has even better protective qualities. And it's a liquid. The product, which has been manufactured in a lab in Poland, hardens immediately on impact to protect its wear. But for the rest of the time, it's lightweight and flexible. In their prototypes, the liquid is poured into a pouch within a special vest, which will easily fit beneath the wearer's regular street clothes or uniform. At the moment, the liquid is being called STF, which stands for Sheer Thickening Fluid, although it may change by the time a commercial version is developed. Moratex, the company responsible for its creation, is keeping its precise ingredients as a closely guarded secret. Right now, as you're watching this video, the world is moving closer to implementing 5G technology and making 4G obsolete. In some places, it's already a reality. With this jump forward in data transmission speeds, something that's long been a preserve of Star Trek and Star Wars is expecting to become a commonplace reality, holographic communication. 
Vodafone demonstrated a technology in full effect as long ago as September 2018, allowing a young female football fan to meet a holographic avatar of England women's football captain Steph Hofton on a stage. The companies driving the technology forward hope that it will make for a more natural alternative than Skype or video calls, where images are often pixelated and connections lag or drop out. You could have a face-to-face -face conversation with someone just as easily as you could speak to someone who genuinely stood in the same room as you. The only difference will be that you can't reach out and touch them. But maybe even that will be possible a few decades from now. Everything seems to be smart these days. We have smartphones, smart televisions, smart speakers, and even smart homes. So what's going to be next to get the smart treatment? Apparently, it's going to be smart roads. One company in China and two companies in the Netherlands are currently in competition to come up with the first fully functional smart road design. And they hope that it will make driving a safer, easier, and more relaxed experience for everyone. One of the features of a smart road will be a type of paint that reacts to the temperature and therefore shows up potential dangers like patches of black ice on the road to give a warning to motorists. Smart roads will also absorb light through solar panels during daylight hours and use the stored energy to illuminate road markings at night, making driving in total darkness a thing of the past. One design even shows the potential for roads built over induction coils, capable of charging electric cars as they drive along it. Various prototypes are already being tested. Smart roads may take a while to arrive, but they're definitely on their way. In the middle of our busiest city centers, air pollution is becoming an ever more dangerous problem. The air we breathe in every day is dirty, and in some places it's even been proven to contain microplastics. You don't need us to tell you that it isn't good. To combat the problem one day soon, we hope to see more cities following Poland's lead and introducing smog vacuum towers, like the one in Jordana Park in Krakow. The device is exactly what it sounds like. Despite using less energy per hour than it takes to boil a kettle, the tower is capable of cleaning up to 100,000 square feet of air every 60 minutes. It doesn't even destroy the dirty air particles that it sucks up. Instead, it compresses them and turns them into jewelry, which can then be sold and pay for the running of the tower. Tests performed since the tower was introduced have proven that the air in the park is 75% cleaner than anywhere else in the city. And on the back of the successful trial, orders have been placed as far afield as China. Perhaps there will soon be one on a street corner near you. Human beings have dreamed of a type of technology that can make people or objects invisible for centuries. Harry Potter has a cloak of invisibility, but this is a work of fiction. The Quantum Stealth Invisibility Cloak currently being developed by HyperStealth is very much a reality. Because the product is being designed for military purposes, the precise details of the technology are being kept secret. But it's thought that it works by bending light signatures to mask whatever's behind the material. It requires no power source to operate properly and can also mask the shadow and heat signature of a person or object as well as their physical appearance. Obviously, the technology is not yet perfect. The edges of the material can be seen and the area hidden by it appears blurred and pixelated. It could, however, be used to hide tanks on the other side of a battlefield convincingly, or snipers hiding on top of buildings. We're not sure Harry Potter would approve of such uses. With a little more development and refinement, it may be possible to make things totally invisible with no telltale signs at all. Subscribe to the channel Turn on the notification bell and enjoy watching new videos on my channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon.